Charlemagne, we live. We are live, everybody. This is Dre All Day from DreAllDay.com, WorkOnMyGame.com, MirrorOfMotivation.com. As y'all come into the, as you come in, tell me your name and location. We're gonna get right into the proceedings this evening. MirrorMotivation.com is where you can get the free book, The Self Guide to Self Discipline. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day. I am the creator of this whole philosophy called work on your game. You hear anybody say the phrase work on your game, tell them, watch it. <laughs> tell them, watch it. Watch, watch the copyright and trademark, and trademark infringement. As y'all come in here, tell me your name and location. Gus from All Island was good. As you come in, tell me your name and location. I'm a, I got a specific topic I'm going to talk about right here, and I'm going to answer questions at the end. So as y'all come in, tell me your name and location. I'm going to introduce myself formally. We're going to get into the topic. James Stinson was good. Work on your fucking game, that's right. I'm gonna introduce myself, introduce the topic, I'm gonna give you the topic, then I'm gonna take questions if there are any questions. James from London, what's up? Hey, this is Delilah in Miami. You used to be in my trainer many moons ago. I don't know what you mean, Delilah. I don't understand what you said in that statement. I understand you're from Miami, but I don't understand the rest of it. Omid, checking in from Calgary, Canada. What's good? As y'all come in, tell me your name and location, name and location, name and location. And I'm going to give this about 15 to 30 seconds. I'm going to introduce myself. We're going to get right into the proceedings this evening. Then I'm going to take questions. Then we're going to wrap this up because, you know, we all on the clock here. Life is going while we in here, while we in here doing what we're doing here. So I'm going to give y'all some value. I'm going to make sure I'm going to give you some value for your time. That's what I always do. That's how I got to where I'm at. So for those of y'all who don't know, Portsmouth, Virginia. Nathaniel, what's going on, Nathaniel? My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day. I'm a former nine-year professional athlete. Now I'm the author of 25 books. I created this philosophy called Work On Your Game. What do I do? I help business professionals, entrepreneurs, and athletes master their mental game and master their performance skills without having to go through all the trial and error that I had to go through. So you can be the best version of yourself and get to what you want to get to in life. That's exactly what I do. I just gave it to you in one sentence. So now what are we going to talk about here tonight? We're going to talk about the 10% rule. And I touched on this yesterday, 10%. I touched on this yesterday when I was talking about uh, how to get yourself started, how to put yourself on in life. If you didn't see that stream that I did yesterday, then it might be gone already. But what you need to do is subscribe to me on YouTube and just look me up on YouTube, subscribe to me. And when I put that video out, it might be a week or two before it comes out because I got other videos that come out, then you can watch that. And you can also read my book, Work On Your Game, where I talked about these exact principles, which you can get at workonyourgamebook.com. Now, 10% rule works thusly. Here's how it works. I'm giving you the whole thing up front, then I'm explaining. You only need 10% of the information to get started. That's the rule. You only need 10% of the information to get started. You don't need 20%. You don't need half of it. You don't need all of the information to get started. You only need 10% of the information. So let's go over the mistakes that people make when it comes to the 10% rule. Usually people who don't even understand the 10% rule, never even heard of the 10% rule. And I know you never heard of it because I just made it up. Well, I made it up. So if you ain't never heard me say it, then you don't know it. I've said it before, but it's the first time that you might have heard me say it. You didn't hear anybody else say it. People think they need all of the information in order to get started on something. Here's the problem with needing all the information to get started. Anybody know what the problem is? The problem is you will never have all the information, ever. I don't care how smart you are. I don't care what school you went to. I don't care if you read every book. I don't care if you listen to everything that every guru ever put out. You subscribe to every podcast, watch every YouTube, read every blog post. You will never have 100% of the information ever. The reason why is because information is always changing. Everything that you think, if you think you know 100% of the information on a certain subject right now, this exact moment, I guarantee you by tomorrow morning, that 100% will not be 100% anymore because something's changed. There's some new information. Somebody did something new. There's some new innovation. Something has changed. Something that we thought was true is no longer true. Something that we thought was not true is true. Something that we thought didn't exist does exist. Something that we thought did exist turned out to not be real. Information is changing all the time. So if you think you need 100% of the information to get started, you'll never have a reason to get started. You will actually have a built-in excuse to never get started because you need more information. The problem is you will always need more information. And this is how a lot of people get stuck in life. They never get started. They never do anything, never follow through on anything because their excuse is, yo, I don't have enough information. I don't know where to begin. What should I do? You know, I need to know more. I need to read more. I need to get more knowledge. I need to go take another course. I need to read another article. I need to buy another book. The problem is you will always have that problem if that's the thing that's stopping you from getting started. 
Here's the other thing that people, other problem people have with the 10% rule on the other end of the spectrum. They say, Dre, damn, only 10% of the information? That's hardly any of the information. I don't, I'm not even gonna know what to do with only 10% of the information. Well, let me tell you something that many of you maybe have never thought of, but I'm gonna tell you a secret about life right now. Are y'all ready for the secret? Here's the secret. Nobody knows what they're doing. <laughs> Nobody knows what they're doing. You think that the expert who wrote the book or the person doing a live stream every day, or the person on YouTube with a bunch of subscribers, or the person on social media with the, the verified check, or the person who got a bunch of products, or a person who got a bunch of courses, or the person who has a, a luxury car in, their, a car in their advertisement. You think that person knows everything, exactly what they're doing, that they got it down, that everything that they know is just, they know 100%, and they're never unsure and that they never are lacking some information or that they never do anything without knowing exactly how it's gonna go and knowing their perfect plan from beginning to the end, all that is completely false. Nobody knows exactly what they're doing all the time. Nobody has 100% of the information, nobody. What people have is they get a little bit of information then they start taking action. This is what most people who reach the, the top levels of expertise in any area, this is what they do. They get a little bit of information and they get a whole lot of personal initiative. Our four principles of working on your game. Discipline, confidence, mental toughness, personal initiative. They get a whole lot of personal initiative, and then they just start doing things, not even knowing what they're doing. And as they do things with their little bit of information, they learn. They figure something out. They get some activity knowledge. Activity knowledge might mean you fail. Oftentimes, it means you fail. Activity knowledge means I did something. Now I see what happens when I do this. Now we'll see what happens when I do this. Now we'll see what happens when I do this. Now we'll see what happens when I do this, this, and this together. Now let's put them in a different order and do these same three things and see what happens then. And now you're just learning. Every time you do something different, every iteration, you're learning something new. And any of you who knows anything about uh, online marketing or sales or any of that, we call this split testing, right? A-B testing. You try one thing, all right, let me change one little thing. Let's see what changes. All right, let's change one other, one other thing. Let's see what changes. Let's change something else. Let's see what changes here. Or let's see what, diff what the difference is here. This is how most people who reach the top, this is how they learn. They do not wait till they get all of the information before they get started. Because as I already told you three times, there's no such thing as having all of the information. So any of you, and I know it's somebody watching this right now, who thinks you can't get started in whatever you wanna do because you don't have all the information or you don't have enough information yet. You will never have enough information. For most people, when they say enough information, you know what they mean? They mean, tell me everything I need to know and everything is gonna happen exactly as it's gonna happen so that nothing ever goes off script. Wrong question. That's a bad question because nobody can provide that to you. And therefore, this is the reason, this is the built-in excuse that a whole lot of people had to do nothing in life because they're waiting until they get all the information or more information or the right information, but you'll never have any of those, which means you're going to be sitting on your ass for the rest of your life talking about what you could have did, what you should have did, and what you would have did, all because you didn't have enough information. The 10% rule is the people who reach the top, go find anybody who's, who you think is the shit at what they do, I guarantee you. They started before they even knew exactly what they were doing. They probably couldn't have even explained to you what they were doing when they get started, when they got started, but they kept going anyway, kept doing their thing anyway, and they learned along the way, got more information, imp implemented the information that they got through their actions, which may have been a failure, into the little bit of info they had, now they got a little bit more info. Now you got 11% of the information. Then you got 15, then you got 20, then you got 30, and eventually you get a whole lot of information, which is never 100%, but it's more than all the people who are listening to you. See, the people who are following you and buying from you and subscribing to you and you know, hiring you for your stuff, it's not that you have, it's not because you have 100% of the information, it's because you got more information than they have. See, the people that you are listening to or the people whose information you trust, it's not because they have all the information, because nobody has it all, it's just that they got more than you, and that's why you listen to them, all right? So if I got 50% of the information and you had 55%, I will listen to you just to get that 5% that you have that I don't have. And now once I got it, all right, now I got 55%. Now I got to go find somebody who got 60. Now I got to find somebody who got 75. Now I got to find somebody who got 90. Okay, so that I just told you in two ways. You're listening between the lines of what I just said. Not only how you find the people that you need to be learning from. They don't need to be the person number one in the field. They just got to know more than you. All right, you know zero. Anybody who knows anything can help you. And if you're a person who's in position and you have some information, all you got to do, if you want to position yourself as an expert or be able to help people or provide value to other people, all you got to do is find somebody who knows less than you and you can help them. You can teach that person as long as they know less than you know. Okay? You don't have to be the best 
basketball player in the world to teach basketball. You just got to find some people who don't know the game as well as you know it. All right, you ain't got to be in the NBA. You ain't got to be overseas. You ain't got to be in college. All right, if you played in high school and you understand the game, you could teach an eighth grader because they ain't in high school yet. All right, you know some stuff that they don't know. All right, and you can apply that to any area, any industry of life. So the point that I'm telling y'all is the 10% rule is stop waiting until you get all the information or some information or even more information. Whatever you have, get started with that. Learn as you go and figure it out along the way. And here's another reason why you want to do that. When you start taking action, even when you don't have all the information, is you create this thing called momentum. Everybody know what momentum is? Can anybody give me a definition of this word momentum without looking it up? What does momentum mean? I'm going to give you the, the work on your game definition of momentum. Definition of momentum is the positive energy that you create through taking action. The positive energy that you create through taking action. You cannot create momentum by thinking about things. You cannot create momentum by reading a book. Not to say that it's wrong to think or it's wrong to read a book, but those don't create momentum. You do not create momentum by waiting to get more information. You create momentum by taking action. Take action, something happens, you learn from it because you're a smart person, you have a brain, you think, you combine that with the, whatever amount of information you got, you come up with a new theory of what might happen and next time you do something, then you do that. Is it guaranteed to work? Hell no, it'll probably be failed. Now you got more information, do it again. More information, do it again. And you just keep repeating, repeating, repeating until you get the outcomes that you want. And once you figure out what that outcome is, now you can go to somebody else who's just getting started and tell them, look, you don't have to go through three years of trial and error like I did. I figured out the formula through my own three years of trial and error. I'll tell you how to do the whole thing that it took me three years. I'll tell you how to do it in three months. All you got to do is buy my book or sign up for my course or hire me to coach you or come to my live event. And I'll tell you how to shorten that learning curve from three years to three months. Now you got a business. Now, I just put everybody who's listening to me in business. All right, that's all you got to do. And in case you didn't know, that's all anybody who sells information does. When I wrote my book, Work On Your Game, it's not because I got all the information in the world. It's because I went through the trial and error of learning these things because nobody told me. I was able to condense that down to 250 pages and put it in a hardcover book and sell it to you. And you'll pay for it because I took 20 years of life and condensed it down to 250 pages that'll take you three weeks to read, depending on how fast or slow you read. Is that worth it? Is it worth the cost that you would pay for a book? Would you pay $100 to save 20 years? I think so. I ain't even charging you $100 for the book. But this is how people sell information. All we do is learn a learning curve, shorten the learning curve for you, condense it, cut out all the unnecessariness, tell you exactly what to do. All you got to do is follow it. You get the results, period. Now, let me answer some questions. I've seen a lot, of, a lot of comments coming through as I'm talking. So the topic today here is the 10% rule. If y'all didn't know, my name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day. I created this philosophy called Work On Your Game, which teaches the pro athlete mindset and how it applies to business, sports, and life for business professionals, entrepreneurs, and athletes. If you didn't know, now you know. Now I'm going to take the questions that we got here. Again, the topic tonight is the 10% rule. You do not need all the information to be successful in life. All you need is 10% of the information. Virgin says, did you ever play in the D-League? No, I did not play in the D-League. I played my whole basketball career was international. King Hangji, what's good? M. Barnes says, can I teach myself how to get better at basketball? Go to hoophandbook.com and let me teach you. As I just explained, if you try to teach yourself, it'll take you 10 years. If you let me teach you, it'll take you 10 weeks. Gus from Long Island, what's good? I'm going through the comments now, for those who don't know. And just answering whatever questions we got, if there are any. Molly X8, what's going on? Malik. James says, I want to ask, do you have any advice for lower back? I injured mine a year and a half ago. Haven't been able to play basketball since. Wait, you haven't been able to play basketball for a year and a half? And you, what have you done? What have you tried? You've been to a chiropractor? It takes some Advil? You haven't done nothing for a year and a half? What I suggest you do, uh, uh, putting aside the year and a half thing, is start doing yoga. Do yoga every day. Go on YouTube. Look up some yoga videos. You Look up five-minute yoga, 15-minute, one-hour yoga, and then type in lower back. So look up yoga, lower back, and then type in how much time you're going to get. 15 minutes, your lower back yoga, start doing that every day. Do that 15 minutes or that hour, whatever you're going to do, do it every day. And I guarantee your lower back problems will go away. Because my lower back was bothering me, not as bad as yours, but damn. It was bothering me in probably about 2014. So I started, I went to a chiropractor like two times. because a chick that I knew was like, go to my chiropractor, he'll help you. He didn't do shit. I paid him $100 every session. He didn't do nothing. 
I started doing yoga off YouTube for like 20 minutes a day and I haven't had a single lower back problem in the last seven years. So yoga is the answer to the question. Jeff said, I work in web development. This is too true. Technology is always changing. We always have to adapt. Exactly. Anything you think you know in technology today, next year, that, that'll be obsolete information. And it's the same in every area. ARB says, turn off the news to watch my guy preach while I eat. Yeah, stop watching the news. ARB 14, don't watch the news. All right, the news is not actually news. News is, is sales. News ain't nothing but a sales page. All they're trying to do is get your attention so that you keep watching so when the commercials come on, they get paid. If it's real news, you'll find out. You ain't even got to watch the news. I don't watch the news at all, but do I seem uninformed about what's going on? All right, you ain't got to watch the news to know what's going on. If something is real news, you'll find out. You do not have to watch the news. Don't watch the news. All, right, all they do is tell you stuff to keep you emotionally unbalanced so that you keep watching the news. They try to make you afraid or anxious or nervous about something. That's the way the news is designed. It used to be that they told you the facts, but that doesn't happen anymore. So stop watching the news, anybody who's listening to this. Maui says, I'm afraid of looking ignorant. Well, get over that fear because we are all ignorant. I'm ignorant right now. Ignorant means not to know. Or there's always something out there that you don't know. So as long as you keep, as long as you remain uh, humble enough to realize that we are all students, we're all learning as life goes on. Because as I just said, information changes. As uh, the gentleman who just left that comment, Jeff said, he works in technology. What are we on right now? This is technology. This right here. The internet and social media, live stream, this is technology. This ain't going to be like this next year. It's going to be different. So we're always learning. So you're always, uh, what's the word, ignorant. Everybody is ignorant. Ignorant just means not to know. It doesn't mean stupid. It doesn't mean something's wrong with you. It just means you don't know something. Everybody doesn't know something. Nobody knows everything. ARB says the Bulletproof Bundle is still available. Yes. Go to bulletproofbundle.com. I got that domain name now. Bulletproofbundle.com, you get all four of my best books on mindset. Discipline, confidence, mental toughness, personal initiative. Four books shipped physical in the mail to your house. Bulletproofbundle.com. ARB says, super me makes me feel like I know 100%. Yeah, well, you can present yourself as confident. You should sound confident because if you don't believe yourself, nobody's going to believe you. So, yes, it's a little bit of both. Jeff says, what made you decide to go to the entrepreneurial route? Do you always want to go this route? Did something happen while in the workplace that made that made you? I actually did a episode of my audio experience, aka masterclass, also known as a podcast, called Work on Your Game, where I talked about that. Why I became an entrepreneur. I did a whole story on why I did that. Short version of the story is everybody I saw around me growing up had jobs and then none of them seemed happy. Most of them seemed broke or close to broke. And it seemed like they did that just because they had to. I didn't like that, the prospect of that being my life. So I was looking for something else. I stumbled across a book when I was in college called Rich Dad, Poor Dad by a man by the name of Robert Kiyosaki. I read that book and in the first chapter I said, whatever the fuck this dude is doing, that's what I want to do. And he was talking about entrepreneurship. He was specifically talking about real estate, which is not where, where I went, but he was talking about entrepreneurship and I understood the concept and said, all right, I need to be doing something where I can make money without having to you know, work for somebody else all the time. And that led me to the path of seeking knowledge on entrepreneurship. I was still extremely ignorant about the whole idea of entrepreneurship, but I knew that's what I wanted to do. So that's what led me to entrepreneurship. That's the short version. That's the 30 second version. If you want the 45 minute version, go listen to the Work On Your Game podcast. Go to Work On Your Game University, workonyourgameu.com. Sign up for the game group membership. You get access to all 1400 master classes that I've ever put out. And you can listen to everything that I've ever said to your heart's content. Everything I ever learned is on that podcast. If you, so any of y'all like what I do on these streams where I just think of a topic and just go off the top here. But if you want to listen to me explain everything that I know in detail and how I came about it and why and stories and examples and action tips and calls to action, what to do next with this information, that is at Work On Your Game University. It's a game group membership. I give you your first 14 days free. You ain't got to pay for nothing. You get all my best material that I've ever made over 15 years, all organized and categorized by topic that is in there. Videos, articles, and written stuff. That's workonyourgameuniversity.com. Andy from Cali checking in was good. ARB says, what are the, when are the one hour streams a few weeks ago going to be available on YouTube? Well, what I do after I download this stream, then I put it on YouTube, then I schedule it just in, in the order that they came in. So whenever it is ready, it's ready. Because I record other videos besides the stream. So whenever it comes out, it comes out. But it will come out, trust me. Anything that I record will come out on YouTube. James says, so true, I agree with that. That's what's up. 
Momentum means energy and motion, exactly. Start doing stuff and you get energy. For those of y'all who came in in the middle of this, this is Dre all day. We are talking about the 10% rule. You only need 10% of the information to get started on anything that you do in life. I'm taking questions now. If y'all missed the material, you can just watch this replay when it's over. King Hanji, that's what's up. Chlor, Chlor, G1 says, man's mind once stretched by a new idea never regains, never regains to its original dimension. What do I think of this quote? I think it's true. When you learn something, you learn it. You can't unlearn things. Well, you can, but... I mean, you get the point. Once you get new information, you got it. Right, it doesn't just disappear. NBA in Barnes says, can I be a top-notch basketball player even if I don't have a trainer? I answered that. Whoopanbook.com. Nelson, was good? Jeff says, how many hours per day do you focus on your work business compared to leisure activity, self-development, etc.? Well, my work and business and my leisure activity, self-development, all kind of wraps into one thing. So, luckily enough, it's all kind of the same thing to me. So this right here is self-development for me because the more that I explain it to you, the better I understand it. I work out in the morning, of course, but that's all part of my, that's all part of my brand, honestly, because a lot of people knew me originally from being an athlete. So it all factors in. I don't separate them. There's no separation between, uh, what do they call it, like work-life balance. I don't, I don't even play that game. All of it's part of my, all of my work is my life and my life is my work. So it's all the same thing. King Hanji says, how do I work on my mental game, like confidence, toughness, etc.? How you work on it is by anything that you hear me reference, you go do it. So if I say go to work on your game university, go there. If I say get the mirror motivation for free, which is the link that's pinned right there in the comments, do it. If I say get my book, work on your game, go buy it. If I say listen to my podcast, subscribe to it. If I say follow me on IG and listen to these streams, do it. If I say subscribe to me on YouTube, do it. If you want to work on your mental game, all you got to do is follow everything that I tell you and it will work. All right, I guarantee you 100% or your money back. Molly says, got that Kimball Walker program is getting me shifty. That's what's up. Yeah, Kimball Walker program is great. James says, I did a, lot, a whole lot of physio, the whole duration. That's what's up. Yeah, yoga. You got to do yoga. No, yoga is not hell alone. Yoga can take five minutes. Go on YouTube and look up yoga for the lower back and type in five minutes. It's like a thousand videos of yoga instructors who made five-minute versions of their workouts. Right, it doesn't have to be an hour-long class. ARB says, do I think Aaron Gordon got robbed? No, I wouldn't say he got robbed. I think he should have won because they should have just added the scores from all the rounds that he would have won. They wouldn't have to go overtime. Yeah, I'm 6'3". I Google YouTube on lower back stretch to help great. Yeah, do the yoga too. Though. Do the yoga, do the routine because it helps your whole body. James said, I appreciate the advice. That's what's up. Yeah, news is fake. Yes, news is terrible. Do not listen to the news. Uh, listen to Dre's podcast and listen every time I shower. That's what's up. How do you feel about school education? Uh, I don't feel about it. That's a very broad question. It depends on what school. It depends on what, you know, what school system you're talking about. As far as the American school system, I mean, I've been out of school for like 15 years. So from what I, my school experience was, uh, a lot of it was not useful for me. But I must add in in defense of the American system that nobody knew that the Internet was going to become the Internet when I was in school. So now y'all know about the internet and schools know about the internet. So they may have some things in place that we didn't have because nobody knew the internet was going to become what it became. So that's the only thing I can say to such a broad question. And Barnes says, how long can I keep the handbook superstar scoring program? I don't know what you mean. How long can you keep it? Once you buy it, you own it. Appreciate that, Jeff. Brandon says, what are your ways for spotting a hater? I don't have ways for spotting a hater. I ain't looking for them, so I don't spot them. <laughs> Curtis says, I purchased Work On Your Game book three days ago. It's one of the best investments I've ever made. Definitely highly recommend it. Buy a game and stop playing scared. That's what's up, Curtis. Where'd you get the book from? You must be talking about digitally. Or maybe you got it on. Where'd you get the book? What version of the book you got? But either way, as long as you got it, I'm, I'm happy with that. So thank you for getting it. James said, I was saying yoga is how long. I meant that a year and a half for the back injuries. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, start doing the yoga. Just find something that works for you. There's so many yoga instructors. Yoga instructors like basketball players on YouTube and Instagram. And motivational speakers. Motivational speakers, basketball players, yoga instructors, and girls doing fitness workouts. You can't, is, you can't watch them all. It's too many of them. All right? all of the, and all in those categories. So, everybody, the comment that's pinned at the bottom right here is mirrormotivation.com. Y'all didn't know? I've written 25 books. That one, you can get for free. You get all the books if you want to pay for them, but you get Mirror Motivation for free. All you got to do is go to mirrormotivation.com. 
That's the self guide to self discipline. I will ship that book to you anywhere in the world. You have a physical address. You will get that book. All you got to do is go to mirrormotivation.com. Take care of the shipping and handling because it does cost us money to print the book. It costs us money to put the book in the envelope. It costs us money to ship the book. The USPS is not free. So we got to pay to just get the book in your hands. You're not paying for the book. You're just paying for the shipping and handling. Go to mirrormotivation.com. I've already covered the cost of the book because I want to get it into your hands. I could just charge you for the book and sell you the book, but I'm giving it to you for free. So go to mirrormotivation.com before the earth runs out of trees because you see this right here? You see any trees? Ain't no trees. This area used to be all trees and swamp land and animals and alligators. They tore all that shit down to build buildings. So before the earth runs out of trees, y'all better get that book, Mirror Motivation, because you won't be able to print no more. My main website is dreyallday.com. All my courses at work on your, workonmygame.com. The podcast, workonyourgameuniversity.com. The book, mirrormotivation.com. The Bulletproof Bundle is at Bulletproof bundle.com i got a bunch of other websites you'll learn about later just stay close stay to the stay close to the money work on your game dre all day